imagine if I tried to talk to you now and I simply couldn't do it? How terrifying would it be if every time you opened your mouth the words came out like a broken record? Stutterers or stammerers face that horror every day and most of them simply give up. But now there's a scheme aimed at bringing them out of their shell and stamping out stammering. Laura Sparks reports the radical shock tactics are controversial, but the ex-stutterers who run the program say the results speak for themselves. My, my uh, name is uh, 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 uh
for the thing. And it just gives you more control, more projection. Psychologically, the breathing by itself is not enough to to prevent relapse because the fear that a stammer goes through is quite severe and you have to have a way to deal with it. It's not very friendly. It's very friendly. Really give it some projection. Talk to me over here. Very crazy. It was only a couple of hours before the students started saying their own names. My name is Nicholas Gold. Matthew Tucker. My name is Craig Sullivan. What's your word? Is line of work? Many times. The lessons continue in the afternoon. You're going to hold your dignity. You're going to speak when you are ready to speak. That's a luxury you never had when you were a kid. You don't have to speak any slower than your normal, than your normal rate. Feel free to speak at your normal rate. Okay, I'll try that. Inhale. And you've got to have a good eye contact. So they know what you're talking about and they understand you and, and that what you're saying is true. Keeping it quiet in the chest with a relaxed face. As night falls, the students enter their seventh Beautiful. hour of work. They still have another four hours to go after dinner. But the pounding goes on. What I'm making sure is my voice is coming out of my chest and my whole speaking process the sensation is down in my chest. And that's why we project our voice through the chest. Think aggressive. Keep moving forward, no holding back. Enunciation, say it like that. Enunciation. Right. It's the third day. The students are up at 6 o'clock in the morning after working 16 hours the previous day. Today, they learn about public Same speaking. I've got nothing to say at the moment, though. Oh, was that getting quite hairy? Matthew Tucker, I live in Wollongong. Then it was time to hit the streets. Their goal, 100 contacts with complete strangers. Excuse me, could you tell me the way to the QVB? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excuse me, have you got the time on you? Finally, it was the moment that all bend ready. The one thing stutterers avoid at all costs public speaking. Their performance space, Sydney's tourist heartland, Circular Quay. Minutes before the event, there's lots of nerves. Some are still questioning whether they'll have the guts to get up and do it. They're facing their greatest fear right now. So kindly listen. My name is Craig Sullivan. Three days ago, I was unable to say my own name. Um, I have tried every technique known to man to try and get rid of this monster. Finally, something has worked. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Barry Fraser. Wollongong was one of my most feared words. <laughs> but after three days, working 15 hours a day, I believe I'm on my way. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I am a recovering stammer. I feel very proud. And strong. Uh, in um, stress, stress, situations of work, like I can speak clearly, and I'm not afraid to speak to anyone anymore. How many of you people here believe what we are saying? Well, believe it. Um, um. Three days ago, the last thing on earth I would have done is stand up here and talk to you all. But now, through courage, persistence, 
recovering stutterers like myself to stand up here and talk to you today. Yeah, isn't that fabulous? Lewis Sparks with that report, and if you need help to stop stammering, you can contact the Maguire program at P.O. Box 319, Beverly Hills, 2209.